हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ माइंड मैप टूडेज टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज डेजर्ट इको सिस्टम फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ द टॉपिक देन वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट एडेप्टेशन हॉट डेजर्ट और थार डेजर्ट नेशनल पार्क कोल्ड डेजर्ट डेजर्टिफिकेशन एंड लास्टली यू एन सी सी टी सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल मूविंग ऑन टू द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ द टॉपिक Desert is an arid region characterized by extremely high or low temperatures and has scarce vegetation. Deserts are formed in regions with less than 25 cm of annual rainfall or sometimes in hot regions with more rainfall but more evaporation. Earth is 70% covered by water and remaining part is covered by land. 20% of the earth's land is covered with deserts. The climate of these ecosystem is modified by altitude and latitude. At high altitudes and at greater distance from the equator, the deserts are cold and hot near equator and tropics. The people inhabit these lands wherever little water is available to practice agriculture as the water is the dominating limiting factor. Now let's discuss about adaptation. Vegetation in the desert ecosystem is dominantly shrub. the leaves are absent or small and stems and leaves are succulent and water storing root systems are well developed and spread over large area for water utilization animals of the deserts are fast runners they are mostly nocturnal in habit to avoid the sun's heat animals and birds usually have long legs to keep the body away from the hot ground camel is known as the ship of the desert as it can travel long distances without drinking water for several days Now let's discuss about hot desert that is the Thar. To the northwest of the Aravalli Hills lies the Great Indian Desert. It is a land of undulating topography dotted with longitudinal dunes and barchans. This region receives low rainfall below 150 mm per year hence it has arid climate with low vegetation cover. It is believed that during the Mesozoic era this region was under the sea. There are some streams which disappear after flowing for some distance and present a typical case of inland drainage by joining a lake or playa. The lake and the playas have brackish water which is the main source of obtaining salt. It is home to some of the India's most significant grasslands and sanctuary for the great Indian bustard. The black buck, wild ass, chinkara, caracal and desert fox inhabit the open plains, grasslands and saline depressions. It is the migration flyway used by cranes and flamingos. Now let's discuss about Desert National Park. The Desert National Park covers an area of 3162 square kilometer which lies in Jaisalmer and Barmer district of Rajasthan state. The area falls in the extreme hot and arid region of very low rainfall zone of the country. DNP was gazetted in the year 1980. The DNP is barren with several sand dunes and a few hills in the northwestern region. Khejri tree is commonly found which is revered and protected by the local communities especially the Bishnois. Many more endemic and endangered mammal, bird and reptile species are found in DNP. More than 100 bird species have been listed from DNP including the great Indian bustard locally called Godavan and migratory Hawara bustard. The wildlife of the desert national park includes black buck, chinkara, desert fox, Bengal fox, Indian wolf, desert cat, hare, etc. Reptiles are also found in abundance and they include spiny-tailed lizard, monitor lizard, saw-scaled viper, russell viper, carrot, etc. Cold desert. Deserts are an important part of nature's great plan. Ladakh is a cold desert lying in the great Himalayas on the eastern side of Jammu and Kashmir. The Karakoram range in the north and the Zanskar mountains in the south enclose it. The altitude in Ladakh varies from about 3000 meter in Kargil to more than 8000 meter in the Karakoram. Due to its high altitude the climate is extremely cold and dry. Due to high aridity the vegetation is sparse example there are scanty patches of grasses and shrubs for animals to graze. During the summers fruit trees such as apples apricots and walnuts bloom. Cold desert is home of highly adaptive rare fauna example asiatic ibex tibetan argali ladakh oriyal tibetan antelope tibetan gazelle wild yak snow leopard brown bear etc oak pine deodar junipers birch and 
Rhododendron are the important plants and trees. Now let's discuss about desertification. Desertification is the degradation of land in arid, semi-arid and dry subhumid areas. It is caused primarily by human activities and climatic variations. Desertification does not refer to the expansion of existing deserts. It occurs because dry land ecosystems, which cover one third of the world's land area, are extremely vulnerable to overexploitation. Poverty, political instability, deforestation, overgrazing, and bad irrigation practices can all undermine the productivity of the land. Main causes of desertification are population pressure, overgrazing, increased agriculture, development activities, deforestation, etc. Some of the major programs currently implemented that address the issue are Integrated Watershed Management Program, National Afforestation Program, Desert Development Program, National Mission for Green India, Mahatma Gandhi National Rural Employment Guarantee Scheme. Now lastly, let's discuss about UNCCD. The United Nations Convention to Combat Desertification or UNCCD was established in 1994. It aims to protect and restore our land and ensure a safer, just and more sustainable future. The UNCCD is the only legally binding framework set up to address desertification and the effects of drought. There are 197 parties to the convention including 196 country parties and the European Union. India is a signatory to the United Nations Convention to Combat Desertification. The convention is based on the principles of participation, partnership and decentralization. It is a multilateral commitment to mitigate the impact of land degradation and protect our land so we can provide food, water, shelter, etc. to all people. The convention unites government, scientists, policymakers, the private sector and communities to restore and manage the world's land. Now it's time for the practice questions. First of all, prelims question. With reference to India's desert national park, which of the following statements are correct? 1. It is spread over two districts. 2. There is no human habitation inside the park. 3. It is one of the natural habitats of the green Indian bustard. Select the correct answer using the code given below. 1 and 2 only, 2 and 3 only, 1 and 3 only or 1, 2 and 3. And now main question. The process of desertification does not have climatic boundaries. Justify with examples. So that's all for today. Stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks for watching.